This video is another subscriber request. Timothy Dunbar is a subscriber to this channel and he requested this puzzle. It's puzzle number 71, a hard puzzle from Sudoku to Go, volume 115, by Soap Opera Digest. What I'm going to do is I'm going to solve this, but in a little bit different way. I'm not going to look for easy numbers per se. I'm going to try and look for techniques and patterns and use a combination of techniques and patterns to solve this. Uh, if I do place some obvious numbers, I'm not going to explain why. Um, so if I do place a number that you don't understand, please uh, leave a comment and I'll try and answer your questions. Um, so to get started, I'm just going to talk about a couple of patterns here that I that I found. First of all, there's a um, modified offset pattern here in box eight and box two. If you look at this column, we've got one, six, and eight, and there are two cells outside that column. Um, so there's a six here already and the 1 and 8 are twins here. Now this is a modified offset pattern also, but it only has a 4 here. So one of these is a 4. There's a 9 and 7, but they're already in this box. So we've got a 1 and 8 here, and because we know these these two numbers, these twins, we, we know these three numbers also. Three or five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three, five, and nine. We can't solve these twins or these triplets right now, but we're gonna we're gonna use them in just a minute. Up here, like I said, there's only a four, and that's it. We've got fives here, so one of these is a five. We've got threes here, so one of these is a three. So we have three five twins. Now typically you wouldn't be able to solve these just by looking at them, but because we know that there are fives here, three five nines here, we have ghost fives here, five here and ghost fives here, so we know that's a five. And we can fill in that three, and we filled in the three five twins. Because of this um, offset pattern that we found here, all right, now that we have a 3 and a 4 here, we know that these are 3, 4 twins. And we can solve them because we know these are ghost 3's right here, so that's a 4. Now what do we have here? 2, 5, 8, 2, 5, and 8. We can't solve any of those. We still can't solve these 3 and 5's here. But now that we know this is a 2, 5, and 8, we have ghost 8's here, so we can solve these 1, 8 twins. And we know that's a 6, because there's no 6 here. We have a 6 here, a 6 here, that's a 6. We still can't solve these or these, so we'll just leave them for now. But let's look and see what we've got here. 1, 4, 1 and 4. We can't solve those, so let's look at these two numbers. 1, 2, 5, 6, 7. 2 and 7. We can solve those. Alright, now we've got a 2 here and a 2 here, so we can put 2 there. Now let's look at this row right here. Let's see what we're missing. 1, 2, 3, 5, 9. 2, 3, 5, 9. So this is a 2, 3, 5, 9. That's a 5. This is uh, what's left over is a 2, 3, and 9. So 2, 3, 9. So that's a 2. And 3 and 9 are left, and there's a 3 there. And if you remember, we had ghost fives there and ghost fives here. We can fill in that five now, and eight is the only number left there. All right, 
let's look at this row right here. We've only got two numbers left, one, seven, one and seven. We can't solve those, but we know these three numbers here. Let's see, one, two, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, and nine. There's an eight there. So that's six and nine. Still can't do anything with that one or seven or the four one there. Let's see. Let's look at the fives here. There's a five. There's a five right there. Okay, so we have three nines here now. One fours, one sevens. Let's look at this column right here. What are we missing? One, three, six, seven, eight, nine. We're missing six numbers. One, seven. Okay, that's a one seven, and we know these are one sevens, so we got one seven twins here. So now all we're missing is three, six, eight, and nine. So there's a 3 and 9, so that's a 6 or an 8. Here we have a 3, 6, 9, 3, 9, and 3, 6, 8, 9, 6, 9. Okay, so let's look at that again. 6, 9, 3, 9, 3, 6, 9, and 6, 8. Always, well, we can't get anything out of that other than these 1's here. But one thing I noticed here is we've got a three here and threes here. So one of these is a three. And because of the ambiguity rule, there are three nines here and there's a one of these is a three. So we know neither of these can be a nine. If you don't if you're not familiar with the ambiguity rule, go to sedokaprimer.com and take a look at it. It's a very powerful rule. Uh, a lot of people talk call them call it unique rectangles. So. But because neither of these can be a 9, we've got a 9 here and a 9 here, we know that's a 9 right there. Okay, now we have 3, 6, and 8 left. We have 6, 8 there. Uh, 3, 6 there, and 3, 6, 8. So that's a 3. And now we have six, eight left. There's an eight there. Okay, and now we can solve these three nines because we've got a three there. We've got a nine there. Okay. We've got a one and a two here, one, two twins here, so now we know what these are. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, four and seven. Let's see. So we can fill those in. So what are these two right here? These are one and two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, six, and seven. All right, and this is a eight right there. Okay, so now we have one and four there. Can't solve those. One, two's there. One, seven, one, seven. What do we have left here? One, two, six, seven. One, two, six, seven. Let's see. We know that's a one, two. One, two, seven. Let's see. That's a one, seven. One, two, seven. One two six seven and one two seven. 
So you know, one seven, one two seven, one two seven. Those are triplets, so that's a six. I guess I could have seen this six there and that six there too. Filled that in. Okay. Let's see. What do we have left here? We got the one fours there. Let's look at this row right here. One, four, eight. One, four, and eight. One, four, one, four. That's an eight there, so that's a one, four. So that's an eight. Okay, what do we have here? One, four, oh, let's see. One, four, seven. One, four, seven is, is missing here. So you know, one, four there. One, four, there's a seven there. So those are one, four twins. So that's a seven. Let's see, you got seven, 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 eight, eight, three, three. So that's a three, two, two, that's a two. Let's see what we have. Let's see. What are we missing here in this row? One, four, seven, nine. There's a four and a nine here. So that means this is one, four, seven, nine. One, four, seven, nine. And one, four, seven, nine. We've got a seven there, so that's a one and that's a seven. And therefore, that's a two because we had one, two, sevens there. And this is a four and a nine. There's a nine, so that's a four, that's a nine. Okay, now we have these one, four um, twins all along here. There's a four there, so that's a one. That's a four and a one. And a four. And a one. And a four. Okay, then that is a one. Four, five, six, seven, nine. So that's a seven. Okay, now we got one, two left there. There's a one. And a one, seven there. And that's it. Okay, so uh, not too bad. Um, once I found these patterns here, using a combination of patterns and techniques, I was able to find um, twins and triplets here, which we couldn't solve right away, but they helped me find quite a few numbers along here. And then that just got the puzzle going and made it pretty easy to, to solve. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, if you have a puzzle you'd like me to solve, um, please leave a comment and I'll take a look at it and see if I can um, make a video of it. Um, so I'll see you again next time.